guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Anne and if you have been here already, welcome back. In today's video, I'm just gonna sit down and get a little bit creative. I just feel like it has been such a long time that I just did a really colorful look where I just play with different, well not really different colors, all you can see is blue. But why I just sit down and just create something a little bit more dramatic. Those are really my favorite looks to create. So I really wanted to do a look like this. I do notice that a lot of people are more into my more wearable looks. But I feel like now and then to kind of spice it up. I think it's fun to do a little bit more dramatic. And I wanted to do a blue look for a while. Because a while back I went to the Inglot store. And I got this pigment which I think is so beautiful. So I just wanted to do a look um, as an excuse to finally play with this pigment. So yeah, this is what I came up with. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this whole makeup look. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids. I'll be using the MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Paint Pots. And I'm applying this all over my eyelid using a Sigma Beauty P84 brush. I'm just trying to press this all over the eyelids. Then I'm taking this palette from Suiva Cosmetics. This is a really nice palette with a lot of soft colors, which are perfect as transition shades. So I'm taking this light blue color and I'm just gonna blend this all over my crease using a Sigma E40 brush. I'm just blending my brush back and forth and I went in a few times back into the shade to kind of build up the coverage of this shade. Um, so you kind of have to see if you blend this, like how many times you wanna go back. I can't really say like go back in three times or go back in two times. It might depend on how you blend, but just make sure that you really see that blue, but not too dark, if that makes sense. So now I'm going in with this palette from James Charles and I'm taking um, this blue color, which is a really beautiful, simple blue shade, just like a straight up blue, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I'm gonna blend this all over my crease as well. Now I switch to a different brush. I'm not really sure what the name is, but I do know this is from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collection. I'm gonna blend this in my crease as well, just going back and forth with my brush and trying to build up the color. So as you can see, I'm really building up that shade. I wanted it to be as blue as possible. So definitely go back in a lot of times to make it as blue as possible. Then now I'm taking this palette from Colored Rain, which is a really beautiful palette with a lot of bright shades. And I'm mixing the color Neon Blue and that dark blue shade. And I'm gonna blend a combination of these two shades in my crease as well. I felt like this eye look required quite some blending, but if you have like good eyeshadows, which are really soft, easy to blend, this isn't a problem. So just try to make sure that you start with a light color, then you go in with a normal blue shade, and then you're gonna build it up by going in with darker blue shades. And this way you will get like a really nice transition. So I also switched to a tinier brush so I could blend a little bit more precise, like straight in my crease. Then I went in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15, which is my favorite concealer for cutting the crease. And I'm gonna create a cut crease. I'm basically like creating a line like straight in my crease. And this will create that fake crease, if that makes sense. So you place the crease line a little bit higher than where your normal crease is. And this way it will create the illusion of having a higher crease than you might have. So this is a really cool trick to kind of give your eyes a really different uh, appearance. So I create a line. I'm not gonna like straight in, fill in like the whole eyelid. You can do that. But I'm starting with that line and then I kind of started softly blending a little bit of that concealer at the beginning part of my eyelid. Because I want to create a sort of special effect, which you will see later. But if you want to like create the look that I do, make sure you kind of follow the steps that I'm doing in this video. And then later you will see like, like how everything comes together. So now I used a wet brush with some Morphe setting spray. And I'm going to use this blue shade, which is also from the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to press that at the beginning part of my eyelids. But I'm not going all the way up. I want to like still see a little bit of that line of concealer in my crease. 
Then I'm taking this pigment from England, which is so beautiful. It was the reason I wanted to do a blue look today, just so I can use like this pigment. So I'm gonna apply that on the eyelid as well. And once again, not going all the way up to my crease. I wanna like keep a little space of that line of concealer. So later you will see that line like all the way in your crease and it will just look really cool and a little bit different than like how you would normally do a cut crease. So now I'm taking this dark blue shade from the, um, what is it called? The James Charles palette again, and I'm gonna apply that at the outer end of my eyelids. And now you can see that line in my crease, how cool it looks. It's just really easy. Just don't apply like the eyeshadows all the way up to your crease. Just leave a simple line of concealer and that will give you a really cool effect. So now I'm taking this white pencil from MAC Cosmetics and I'm going a little bit over that line just to make it look a little bit more white and this will make it like a bit more stand out because the concealer it look more like a light blue instead of like a white line so i'm really softly going over that line so now it's time for eyeliner i'm taking this eyeliner from maybelline which i also mentioned in my previous video where i showed all my favorite drugstore makeup i will put the link in this video in case you missed it there are quite some cool products now from drugstore brands so if you want to see my favorites make sure you check out that video so i just created a simple line above the lash line and then now i'm taking this pencil from mark jacobs and applying it all over my one line this is just a simple dark blue pencil but i really like the mark jacobs pencils they are really long lasting and i feel like this shade really suits with today's eye look then I went in with that blue shade again from the James Charles and Morphe palette. And when I'm gonna softly blend this underneath the lower lash line as well. So since I used this shade in my crease as well, you can now see that when I blend this underneath the lower lash line, that it's really easy because that shade is already in that outer V area of my eyelids. So you can just really easily blend your eyelids and your lower lash line together. I really hope that makes sense. Now I'm taking this dark blue shade and I'm pressing it underneath the lower lash line as tight as possible towards my um, lash line. And when you place like a dark shade in underneath your lower lash line, you will now see that it gets like a really nice gradient from light blue to darker blue. And then in your waterline there's an even darker blue. It will just look really nice and blended out. So now for in my inner corner, I'm taking a little bit of a white eyeshadow from the James Charles palette. This is just a simple matte white color, which is really pigmented. I'm just popping a little bit in the waterline, not the waterline, what am I saying? In the inner corner area to give it a little bit of a pop. Then I curled my lashes and for today I used the matte lash mascara from The Balm Cosmetics. A really nice mascara, it makes your lashes really long and lifted. Therefore my fake eyelashes, I'm going to use these flutter lashes which are really beautiful. I will put the name in the description bar. And then this is already the last step of my eyes. I'm now gonna apply these eyelashes and then I will continue with my face and show you all the products that I use for my whole face. The first thing I'm gonna use for my face is the Benefit Cosmetics Professional Primer. I'm just gonna apply this like in my T-zone because this is where I mostly get oily. And I feel like this primer makes my foundation last a bit longer. Then for my foundation, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, which is the Dewy Smooth in the shade Sandy Beige. And I'm going to use this all over my face using a buffing brush from Real Techniques. What I really love about this foundation is that it makes my skin look flawless without having like a really thick layer of foundation. I would definitely say this is like a medium coverage, but it just makes your skin look so good. Let me know in the comments if any of you have tried it and what your thoughts are. Um, I'm just really obsessed with this foundation. Then now I'm taking a clean beauty blender and I'm just going all over where I just apply foundation. I always do this because I feel like a beauty blender gives a little bit more of a natural finish. I feel like sometimes foundation brushes leaves like those kind of hairy strokes and I don't really like that. So I'm just going over it with my beauty blender to make the finish look a little bit better. Then now for my concealer, I'm taking this concealer from Barry M, which is called the All Night Long Full Coverage Concealer and I'm using it in the shade Cookie. This is a really nice drugstore concealer. It's full coverage. 
but it doesn't really feel like you're wearing like a very thick concealer so it's really lightweight but still you get that coverage that you like so I'm just applying this on all the places where I normally apply it as well I feel like I haven't been like super creative with makeup for a long time I mean I have done smoky eyes and stuff but to really play with color I just feel like it has been a while so it felt actually really good to kind of just play around with makeup and do something crazy I know a lot of you probably won't wear this and I will and I notice that very often whenever I upload a video like this that not like a lot of people watch those videos and um, it's kind of sad because those are the looks I really like to do the most but at the same time I feel like if I keep doing them now and then there are always people that do like these looks so I'm not gonna quit because some people just don't want, like to watch it you know I think to any job it's really important that you just keep doing what you like but I just have to find like a balance between doing looks which I really enjoy making and doing the looks that you guys like to watch but just let me know if there are any recommendations like what kind of videos do you really enjoy do you like to see more of those creative looks or are you always like more tend to watch like looks that you can actually recreate let me know then now to set my whole face I'm going in with this powder from Maybelline which is the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder actually a really good powder and it's drugstore which is really great um, but I prefer this over any loose powder that I have at the moment I think it's so good and it just makes your skin look flawless I'm just gonna dip my beauty blender in here Now I'm gonna let that set for a minute and while this is setting I'm using this Revolution Ultra Bronzer and I'm just going to use this to contour Normally I also use like a cream product to contour underneath But today I am a little bit lazy So I'm just gonna keep it like this Then now I'm switching to a bigger brush because for my forehead I don't want like a really harsh application So the fluffier the brush the softer the application So I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the forehead Oh yeah and by the way you see this I just got my hair um, dyed so you see this like weird blue color Even though it matches totally with today's look But that's just hair dye just so you know it will disappear within two days hopefully but the reason that it's blue is because i always dye my hair um, black blue it's like a really beautiful intense black color with a blue sheen which i think is really beautiful so that's the reason why it's looking blue just in case you're wondering now to make my skin look a little bit warmer i'm going in with this powder from mac which is the mineralized skin finish powder in medium deep I feel like this has a little bit more warmth, so I'm just gonna blend it a little bit on top of why I just tried to contour. This because I feel like I'm looking a little bit pale because of all those cool tone kind of colors. So my skin needs a little bit of warmth. Okay, that's looking a lot better. I feel like my skin is slowly coming back to life. So now I think I'm gonna apply some highlighter. So I'm gonna use this Dose of Colors and Desi and Katie Fuego highlighter. I feel like I haven't used this in a while. And this used to be my favorite highlighter. So let's apply this. Now for my lips, I'm gonna use this lip pencil from Morphe Brushes in the shade Love Bite. I first want to do my lips and then I will decide what blush I'm going for. I'm not really sure if I want to do something peachy or pink or a little bit like a neutral kind of blush. So I'm first going to do my lips and I'm just going to overdraw my lips using this pencil. So this is how it's looking so far. I think this lip pencil is amazing. I believe it's only $2. and 
I think it's kind of like a dupe for MAC Strip Down and I think MAC is like $18. So if you ever go to a Morphe store, make sure you grab this one in the shade. What was it called? Love Bite. You guys will love this if you are like really into nude lipsticks. Then now my lips, I'm going in with this liquid lipstick from Sigma Beauty in the shade Anti-Venom. One of my favorite liquid lipsticks. It's such a beautiful pinky nude. I think it's really beautiful. Then in the center, I'm going to use a little bit of this liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star in the shade I'm Nude. Just to create a sort of nude ombre with a little bit like lightness in the center. I think this is the perfect nude combination. I got this liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star when I was in LA and that's kind of where I discovered this combination. So first I applied the Sigma liquid lipstick and then a little bit of this in the center. And I think it's just so pretty, I am obsessed. So I just found this blush from Modus Cosmetics, which I think looks really similar to my lip color. So I'm gonna apply this on my cheeks and this one is in the shade Peony. I'm gonna put my hair like this so you can't see that blue situation on my face. So yeah, this is the end result. I really hope you all enjoy watching today's video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to let me know in the comments what kind of videos you like to watch. Do you like more wearable makeup looks or are you more into those dramatic looks which are a little bit more creative? Let me know so I can kind of see what you guys like. And yeah, that was it. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.